everybody, Brad Pointer here, and I am still on the search for job. Uh, as you can see, it's been the weekend, and I didn't have any interviews scheduled last week, so I'm kind of scruffy. Uh, today is Monday morning, and it show is fine. Uh, but, last week, I had a telephone interview. That went surprisingly well. Uh, I think that the, I am the person that they are looking for. But it is with a big national corporation. And so there is, of course, a process. The phone interview was basically just to say, hey, we need to, your resume looks like you're what we're looking for, but do you really know what, are you overqualified? And so, maybe, but I assured them that I wasn't that high up in the ivory tower, that I didn't know what, how to deal with people. And as my former co-workers can attest to, when it comes to computers, I, I fix them. That's, that's my thing, and that's what they're looking for. Somebody go out on site and say, to this site in Mountain Home, and say, what's your problem? What's, the, what's your computer doing? Oh, it doesn't do this and that and the other. Oh, okay. Well, uh, you know, what's the deal? It'll probably be, you know, a lot of the same old same, you know. Brad, the Internet's broke. Uh then how did you send me this email? Uh, but anyway, I digress. I'm excited. It'd be real nice, and the salary would be an actual pay raise <laughs> to what I'm doing. Yeah, <laughs> a lot less responsibility, you know, a lot less, you know, a lot, lot fewer job responsibilities, and the pay's higher. Huh. Wow. Imagine that. So I'd really like that. <laughs> um, so I'm, I've got my fingers crossed. Y'all cross your fingers for me, too. Uh, also put in a application, or submitted my resume, that is, to the Donald W. Reynolds Library in Mountain Home. Uh, I don't know how that'll work out. You know, I've never worked in a library, but they need an assistant circulation manager. And it sounds like it's going to be a lot of talking to people on the phone and in, in person, uh, helping people with library services and uh, all that kind of stuff. So I think, and, you know, maybe even be in charge of a few people, that wouldn't be a problem. I'm a cool boss. I'm a good boss, boss. So it'll be that that would be cool too. And I think since I since I'm an author and it's a library, I think that would work out like really well, you know. I think that would be a really cool uh, kind of a kind of a, a, a not a, not exactly a, a synergy. Well, maybe I don't know. You know, synergy is when one plus one equals three. You know. Like when you get, like when you've got people and they make babies. Um, but yeah, so that would be cool. Uh, also, <laughs> while I was there, I uh, picked up an application for to be a barista at the uh, coffee shop that's in the uh, that's in the library. Hmm. So we'll see. You know, if all else fails, they're looking for people. And, uh, you know, the pay is not exactly what I would be used to. But uh, they do get tips. And they, and it's basically making coffee and pastries and handing them to people and taking their money. I mean, you know. 
a low stress job. I mean, the worst I can do is spill coffee on somebody, you know, set the place on fire, I guess. But, you know, I'm, I'm good at setting things on fire. So, and because of that, I've gotten pretty good at putting them out. So I think, uh, I think that'd be all right too. So yeah, I'm just, uh, excited, you know, uh, some prospects are finally coming through, uh, Everything else is going going good. The girls are doing pretty good. Uh, my youngest is feeling under the weather. She didn't go to school today, but uh, I knew she was sick when she didn't go to church. It's like, what? You know, because our family isn't a church family, but my youngest daughter is a church youngest daughter. I guarantee you that. She goes every time the door's open. Uh, and I'm proud of her for her convictions, you know. It's one of those things, you know, not, I, I wasn't going to force a religion on them, but I'm not going to force not a religion on them either, you know, I mean, it's, our religion, religious decisions should be uh, something made by the individual and not something that you're indoctrinated into when you're a kid, you know, should be, should be something that you can that you can make your own choices about. Oh, hey. Hey, stop looking down there. Oh, oh, hey. Easy there. You guys getting all wild on me? Stop that. So, yeah. Everything is going pretty okay at the pointation. You know, we're, we've got debt collectors calling, you know, but that's, it's not okay, but I mean, what else are you going to do, you know, it's not, not exactly enough people, we got like three different collection agencies standing in line for three, for three different medical bills, and it's like, hey, guys, uh, yeah. Can we not? <laughs> Can you guys just chill? And, you know, it'll be paying them $25 a month, I guess, because that's what we can, what we can scavenge, and that's still $75 out of money that we don't necessarily have. But that's okay, you know? I mean, seriously, it's, it is what it is, and we'll do what we can. Uh, <laughs> had some mistakes happen on taxes, too, but uh, it's no big deal. We just, uh, one, of the, one of the girls claimed herself as a dependent, even though, you know, she's not paying her own way or anything, so. And she submitted her taxes early because she only, she wasn't waiting on the number of W-2s that we were. And so, yeah, it kind of, when I submitted our taxes, they said, hey, you can't do that because somebody, you're trying to claim somebody as a dependent who's already claimed themselves. And it's like, oh, so we got the um, amendment printed out and uh, got that, got that sent off. So hopefully, uh, before April 15th, we'll be able to submit that. I mean, we're not getting that much back this year, but every little bit would help. It would have been nice to have had it on the way already, but you know, life, man, it, it's, I can't be too mad because I didn't help her. And she came in and asked me a few questions, but throughout the process, but I should have just went in and sat down beside her and walked her through it. Um, taxes aren't something that, that should be done solo the first time. So that, you know, I'm, I'm claiming, I'm accepting full responsibility for that one. Uh, I should have, should have been much more proactive in helping instead of, you know, thinking, oh, well, if she needs me, she'll let me know. But anyway, Thank you guys. <laughs> I don't know where that went real quick, but whatever. Uh, we're going to make it. Everything's, everything's, you know, 
going as it as well as it can and we're just gonna keep on plugging and i hope that i hope that it all works out for the best so thank you guys so much for watching my videos as always uh if you like it then click on the like button that's what i mean when i say if you like it then like it that means click on the like button or the little thumbs up you know or as jack septic septic eye says punch the like button in the face like a boss <laughs> Uh, thanks guys. Have a great one. Peace.